So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 11 Moment 3 update for a stable version. So basically, you can download it from Windows Update. As you can see, it is available in my update section. If you do not get this option, you can turn on this setting. Then you can check for update and download it. In this video, I'm going to cover all features, what is coming new and how you can use them. Okay, so first thing they improved like widgets on taskbar. So whenever you hover on it and you can see the little animation on your widgets icon. As you can see, it totally depends upon your icon, right? Like, uh, let me change the weather here. So as you can see, I change the weather and you can see the animation of this icon. This looks cool, right? Second feature is also related to taskbar. Go to taskbar setting. Just go to taskbar behavior. And now you will see option like show seconds in system tray clock. So this will use more power. If you have laptop, I would not recommend to do this. But if you have PC, you can just set it. Depends upon you, you want this feature or not. Another thing is also related to taskbar. Like they added a touch keyboard here. So when no keyboard is attached this will not show and always then you can see here this touch keyboard so just set it like when no keyboard attached so it will automatically popped up here click here always and you can see like this another feature is also related to taskbar like uh, whenever you connect your vpn so you will see here shield icon on your connection right in image you can see here and they also adding the widget improvement like uh, you can just uh, click on add widgets so you will get here this kind of view you can just preview how this is going to live on your system another feature they added in windows setting in update section so as you can see get the latest update as soon as they are available so whenever you turn it on so as you can see be among the first to get the latest non-security updates fixes and improvements as they are rolled out whenever you turn it on you will get these update early right they also updating the notification like whenever you get here two-factor authentication code in your uh, mail you will get the notification and you can copy that code from notification itself so this is a good improvement another update they are adding bing icon in the search you will see here bing icon in search so you can directly click on that and you will directly navigate to microsoft edge bing another feature they added like uh, this update adds live caption the following language so these these languages are added here if you are using live caption another thing they updated the voice access command base so you can just open this voice access this improved a lot more and some other languages also added so just go to here help and view all commands so you can see here like uh, what you need to ask and how to use it so like voice access wake up so basically you need to learn how to use it so all the commands here so you can learn it from here if you are using it another update related to your file explorer so like uh, you open your file explorer you can click here menu key it will show you context menu and the corresponding letter can open that setting right so like i can press v to it will navigate to this and if i press x so it will set my icon to large so just press x so it set my icon to large so this is a great improvement in file explorer so another update is like they improved the search experience of windows setting you can search very fast in windows setting another feature they adding like if you have usb4 devices so you can see the complete setting page for that so this page will help you to travel shoot if you have any problem with your usb4 devices this update adds a presence sensor privacy settings in settings go into privacy security and presence sensing if you have a device that is compatible with presence sensors you can now choose the app that can access these sensors and you can also choose the apps that do not have access and this update contains so many bug fixes and improvement as you can see lots of problems fixed and improved here so i'm not going to read each and every point so this is just time waste so basically what you need to do just go and update your system and that's it so okay guys these are the some features and improvement in this update i hope you liked it so just like the video and go and install it